Have you ever heard the tale of the Demon of Dover, a creature of pure malevolence that has haunted the nightmares of many? This chilling tale begins on the cobblestones of Dover where the first encounter with this malevolent entity was recorded. It was a cold, foggy night when the demon appeared, its chilling presence casting a shadow over the town. The air became heavy, as though filled with the weight of a thousand unspoken fears. The demon's eyes glowed with a sinister light, and its laughter echoed through the empty streets, a haunting melody that promised nothing but despair. Its reign of terror lasted for days, leaving the townsfolk trembling in fear, their lives forever marked by this terrifying encounter. This, dear listener, is but a glimpse into the world of demons, a world filled with darkness and fear. Now that I've got your attention, let's delve into the dark world of demons and understand their different types. Firstly, we venture into the realm of the fallen angels, demons that were once part of the heavenly host. These celestial beings, once radiant and devout, fell from grace, becoming the dark entities we know as demons. Fallen angels are unique among their demonic brethren. Their celestial origin bestows upon them an array of formidable powers. They possess a profound knowledge of the cosmos, a heightened intellect, and a cunning that surpasses mortal comprehension. Yet, their most terrifying attribute is their ability to manipulate and deceive, a skill they employ with chilling effectiveness. Their motivations are as complex as their nature. Consumed by an insatiable thirst for power, they rebelled against their divine creator, only to be cast down into the abyss. Now they seek to sow chaos and discord among humanity, driven by a bitter resentment and a desire to corrupt the creation they were once sworn to protect. Among these fallen angels, one name stands out, etched into the annals of history and folklore alike, Lucifer. Once a paragon of light and truth, his fall from grace was the most dramatic. His rebellion, motivated by pride and ambition, serves as a chilling reminder of the destructive power of these emotions. Fallen angels, a tragic testament to the battle between good and evil, their saga is a cautionary tale, a stark reminder of the perils of hubris and the destructive potential of unchecked ambition. From the heavens we descend into the realm of the elemental demons, creatures that embody the forces of nature. Elemental demons, these are not your average imps or hellhounds. These entities are the primal embodiment of the elements. Fire, water, earth, air, each element has its own class of demon. They carry the raw power of nature within them, a power that can both create and destroy. Imagine a demon of fire, an ifrit, born from the heart of a volcano, its form flickering and changing like the flames it commands. It's not evil per se, but its motivations are as wild and unpredictable as a forest fire. Its power can offer warmth and light, or bring ruin and destruction. Then there's the marid, a water demon, Emerging from the deepest ocean trench, it's as serene as a still pond or as violent as a tsunami. It controls the ebb and flow of water and with it the very cycle of life. The earth and air demons, the gnomes and sylphs are no less potent. They command the solidity of the land and the freedom of the skies. They can shape the world to their will, raising mountains or summoning storms. But remember, their power is not inherently malevolent. It is their nature, their essence. They are not evil merely different, and their motivations as varied as the elements they represent. Elemental demons, a terrifying reminder of the raw power of the natural world. Now we delve into the terrifying reality of demonic possession, where demons take control of a human host. Demonic possession is a phenomenon where a malevolent entity invades and controls the physical and mental faculties of a person. It's the realm of the most powerful and cunning of demons. These are not your garden variety imps, oh no. These are the puppet masters, the ones who orchestrate chaos from within the very skin of their victims. The demons capable of possession are often characterized by their extraordinary cunning and deceit. They're masters of disguise, able to mask their presence and manipulate their host into committing unspeakable acts. Their powers are vast, ranging from influencing thoughts and emotions to causing physical harm to the host or those around them. But what motivates these demons to possess? The answer lies in their insatiable hunger for chaos and destruction. They delight in the turmoil they cause, feeding off the fear and despair of their hosts and those they come into contact with. It's a game of power and control with the human spirit caught in the middle. 
Throughout history, there have been numerous accounts of demonic possession. Some of the most famous include the case of Anneliese Michel in the 1970s, a young German woman whose possession led to a tragic end. Or the tale of the Smurl family in the 1980s who claimed to be terrorized by a demonic entity for over a decade. These stories serve as chilling reminders of the power these entities wield. But it's important to remember that while these cases are terrifying, they're also exceedingly rare. The vast majority of us will never encounter such malevolent forces. However, the existence of these stories and the enduring belief in demonic possession highlight the ongoing battle between the human spirit and the forces of darkness. Demonic possession, a chilling example of the battle between the human spirit and the forces of darkness. So, we've journeyed through the dark realms of fallen angels, elemental demons and possessing demons. In the murky depths of these chilling tales, we've unearthed truths that have been buried in the sands of time and mythology. Let's take a moment to revisit the fallen angels. Once divine beings of light and purity, these entities chose defiance over compliance, rebellion over obedience. Their fall from grace has transformed them into formidable forces of darkness, each with their unique traits and powers. Their stories serve as a stark reminder that even the most divine can be corrupted. Next, we ventured into the elemental world of the elemental demons. These are not fallen angels, but rather entities born from the raw forces of nature itself. Fire, water, earth, air, each element has its own demon, each with their distinct characteristics. Their existence emphasizes the duality of nature, beautiful yet destructive, nurturing yet deadly. Then we delved into the unnerving territory of possessing demons. These are the entities that can infiltrate the human psyche, manipulating and controlling their hosts. They remind us of the fragility of our minds and the importance of mental fortitude. Despite their differences, all these demons share common threads. They are all entities of power, often malevolent and always fascinating. They are reflections of our fears, our temptations and our struggles. Understanding them isn't about glorifying evil, but about understanding the complexities of existence. Yet, each type of demon also presents unique aspects, reflecting different facets of the human psyche and the natural world. They serve as cautionary tales, warnings of the dangers of hubris, the destructive potential of nature, and the vulnerability of our minds. Remember, knowledge is power. Understanding these beings can only empower us against them. Until next time, stay curious and stay vigilant.